In this video, we're going to learn how to implement the binary search algorithm using recursion in Python. So the binary search algorithm allows us to find the index of a value in a sorted list. The binary search algorithm is notable for being much more efficient than the linear search algorithm because it takes advantage of the fact that the list is sorted. So for example, in the case of an unsorted list like this one here, if we want to find the index of the value six in this list, if it exists, then one thing we could do is a linear search. So we could search starting from the first index in the list for the value six, checking each element in the list to see if it's equal to six. Now eventually we'll find six, but in the worst case, we would have to check every element in the list to find six if it was located here or if it wasn't in the list at all. And that's a linear search. In the worst case, a linear search will take as many comparisons as there are elements in the list. A binary search will only work on a sorted list, but by doing so, it's able to drastically reduce the number of comparisons required. So if we want to find the index of the value six in the sorted list here, we could take advantage of the fact that the list is sorted. So instead of checking this first index here, we could check the middle index here. And if six is less than the value stored here, that would tell us that six must be in this portion of the list here. If six was greater than the value stored here, that would tell us that six must be in this portion of the list here. It's possible six might just happen to be at this index. And if six is at this index here, we'll have found the index of six and we'll be done. Now, if six is not at this index here, we'll either be searching this portion of the list here or this portion of the list here. Either way, we'll have eliminated the need to check half the list for six. Now, what we could do is recursively apply this same algorithm again to the sub portion of the list that we're now currently looking at. What we could do is use indexes low and high to keep track of the portion of the list that we're currently looking at. So initially, low would be this index here. And initially, high would be this index here. And we would find the middle index between low and high, which initially would be this index here. So we would compare six to eight and determine that six must be in this portion of the list here. Then in the next step of the algorithm, we could set the new high index to be one less than the current middle index. So H would now be here. Then in the next step of the algorithm, we would calculate the new middle index, which is now going to be here. And again, we would compare six to the value here. This time six is greater than four. And that would tell us that six must be in this portion of the list here. This time we would add one to the middle index to give us the new low index. So here we would have the new low index. And then when we go to find the new mid index, it would be here. And at this point, we will have found the index of six. And notice how efficient this algorithm is. We really only had to look at three indexes in the list to determine the index of six. So let's implement this algorithm now using a recursive function, which calls itself. Here we'll have def and we'll call the function binary search. The function will accept the list as an argument, the value that we're searching for in the list as an argument, as well as the low index and the high index. So the function is going to call itself to carry out each step of the algorithm as it does, as in our example, it's either going to increase the low index or decrease the high index. If the low index is ever greater than the high index, that means the algorithm failed to find the value in the list. So if low is greater than high, that means the value is not in the list. In that case, we're going to return none to indicate that. Otherwise, we're going to keep searching for the value in the list. And the next step is going to be to calculate the middle index. So the middle index is going to be the low index plus the high index divided by two. So if the low index is six and the high index is 12, then six plus 12 would give us 18 and dividing that by two would give us nine. And nine is the middle index between six and 12. So that is correct. 
But let's say the low index is 6 and the high index is 11. Then 6 plus 11 would give us 17. And if we divided 17 by 2 normally, we would get 8.5. We can't really use an index 8.5 in our list. We would either want to use the index 8 or the index 9. But here, we're using the integer division operation, which is going to have the effect of rounding down to the nearest index. So in the case of the low index being 6 and the high index being 11, we would get a middle index of 8. Let's actually implement the rest of the algorithm now. So next, if the value that we're currently looking for is greater than the value stored in the list at the index mid, then we want to search the right portion of the portion of the list that we're currently searching. So we're going to return the result of calling binary search with the list, the value, but now the new low index is going to be mid plus one, and the high index is still going to be the old high index. Otherwise, if the value that we're looking for is less than the value in the list at the index mid, then we want to search the left portion of the portion of the list that we're currently looking at. So we're going to return binary search when it's called with the list, the value, the old low index, and then the new high index of mid minus one. And the logic with these two steps here is exactly like in our example, where with each step of the algorithm, we're narrowing down the portion of the list that we need to look at by continually modifying either the low index or the high index. Now, if the value we're looking for is not greater than or less than the value stored in the list at the index mid, then it must be equal to the value stored in the list at the index mid. In that case, we found the value and we can return the index mid. So here we'll have else return mid. And this completes the algorithm. We can now test out our function. So down here, we'll call binary search and we'll pass it our sorted list and we'll try to find the index of the value six and our initial low index is going to be zero, and our initial high index is going to be one less than the length of the list, which is going to be the last index in the list. So here we'll have len when it's past sorted, which is going to give us the length of the list, and then we'll subtract one from that. Then we can output the value returned by binary search. So here we'll have print index of six colon, and then we'll output i. We can now save our program and try it out. So here, we get the index of six is five. And if we look at our list, that is correct. Because here we have the indexes zero, one, two, three, four, and five, and six is at the index five. So our solution is correct. And this is how we can implement the binary search algorithm using recursion in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.